let's provide answer to this question solving for the values of x or the value of x 27 exponent x minus uh, 3 exponent x divided by 9 exponent x minus 3 exponent x all equals to 21 so let's start by saying that 27 3 as the base have 3 as a common factor 9 and 3 as the base has a common factor of 3 so let's split them and factorize so by solution 27x 3x 9x and 3x equals to 82 we know here that this can be 9 exponent x times 3 exponent x minus 3 exponent x divided by 3 exponent x times 3 exponent x minus 3 exponent x equals to 82. How is it possible in this case? We know that if I have a, b or exponent of x, they are all combined together. This is a multiplication. So we are taking as a one term, which is our 27. So if I have an exponent, the exponent can be distributed on the two. So a exponent x times b exponent x. So in the case of 27, it will be 3 times 9 or exponent x. We know 3, 9 is 27, right? So we distribute the power on the two of them. Likewise, in the case of 9. So I can see 3 exponent x here being common. So I factor it out. 3 exponent x. If we divide this, we have 9 exponent x minus 3 exponent x divided by 3 exponent x. You get 1. Divided by a common factor will still be 3 exponent of x. Dividing this, cancelling itself, remaining 3 exponent x minus 1 still equals to 82. So you can see that this will cancel this. Then we are left with only the bracket. It will be 9 exponent of x minus 1. 3 exponent of x minus 1 equals to 82. Okay, so what do we do? We can see we are now having a fraction. So let's cross multiply. We know if we cross multiply, this will multiply our 1 to give us 9 exponent of x minus 1 equals to 82. We'll also multiply the denominator. 3 exponent of x minus 1. I am seeing... 3 as the base, I cannot break 82 to have a base of 3, but I can break the, the 9 to the base of 3, which is going to be 3 exponent of 2 up to the power x minus 1 equals to 82. Let's multiply them together, okay? So let's see, we have 82 times 3 exponent x minus 82 we are expanding that bracket so 82 will multiply this the same time multiply the one now if you look at this the powers are multiplying so it could be 3 exponent x squared the same as 3 exponent 2 x because the powers are multiplying it is a multiplication not 2 raised to the power x but 2 as the power multiplying the x which at the end we can have 3 exponent 2x. So this is the same as this, the same as this. So in place of this, I'll write this to depict. I'll write this to depict the same value. Now this will become 3 exponent of x all square minus 1. 82 times 3 exponent of x minus what? 82. So what do we do? I can see 3 exponent x. 3 exponent x being common. So I will do a substitution. So let's just say we let y equals to 3 exponent x. Meaning here I come y, then I get 2. This becomes minus 1 equals to this will be 82 times this. 
You get it? We can write the 82, then we multiply it by the value of 3 exponent x, which is y, then minus 82. So y exponent 1, exponent 2 constant. We can group them together to form a quadratic equation. Maintaining y exponent 2 here, bringing in from the right, it becomes negative 82y. Already the minus y is on the left, so minus y, negative 1, 82 coming back to the left will become positive 82 and that will give us 0. I believe we can compute here. So y squared minus 82y, 1 minus uh, negative 1 plus 82 is like 82 minus 1. So that will give us plus 81 equals 0. So what do we do? We are now going to find factors of 81, positive 81. When we add, we get a negative 82. So that simply means if this is positive, this is negative. The two factors must be negative. So that negative times negative give you a positive. Negative plus negative give you a negative answer. So you can see 1 as a factor times 81 will give me 81. But if I make them negative, negative, negative 1 times negative 81 will give me a positive 81. They are sum will give me a negative 82. So let's take those two factors. Open two brackets equals 0. I've always talked about this uh, expansion or factorization when it comes to quadratic equation. So we pick the variable y and y. What are our factors? Raw, the way in their raw state. I mentioned negative 1 and negative what? 81. So those are the two factors that we can factorize. Since they are multiplying, the first bracket will be 0 or the second bracket will be 0. So meaning y minus 1 equals 0 or y minus 81 equals 0. You know, we can add 1 to both sides, making y equals to positive 1. We can also add 81 to both sides, making y equals to 81. So the values of y, 1 and 81. But we are looking for x. So let's go back to our original state. So we know that but y is equal to 3 exponent x. So when y equals 1, it means 3 exponent x will be equal to what? 1. And this is indices. So we normally try to have the same base deal the power or the same power deal the base. So I can write this as 3 exponent 0, which will mean the same as what? 1. So this becomes 3 exponent x equals to 3 exponent 0. And that makes your x to be equal to what? 0. The same bits. We take the exponent. Let me write this word. This implies that you have x equals to 0. Alright. When y also gives us 81, it means that 3 exponent x will be the same as what? 81. And I believe you know that 81 can be expressed in the terms of base 3. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 4 times, give us 81. So this becomes 3 exponent of x equals to 3 exponent of 4. 4. And that also implies that the same base, so x, will be equal to 4. Right? All right. So it could be the values of x could be 0 and a 4. But let's see if we substitute 0 into this place. You know, any number raised to the power 0 always give us what? 1. So this is 1 minus 1. Right? This will also be 0. 0. 1 minus 1. 0 divided by 0. It's not 82. So it means the value of x cannot be 0 in this case. But let's see if you put in 4 in the case of this, as in uh, 27 exponent uh, 4, the answer is going to be 531441. Then we know 3 exponent 4 will give us 81. 
for replacing x will also give us 6561 minus that and if we subtract this and this and divide our answer will be 81.8 which is approximately 82 so therefore the value of x in the case of this we can only accept 4 we can accept what zero zero will make this expression not to be satisfied so therefore The value of x is going to be 4. I believe you followed through from the beginning to the end. Thanks for watching. Like and share. Bye-bye.